Hi, fishy fans of the Fish Project. This is Rob here. How you doing? All right. Um, just want to talk to you today a little bit about pH. Um, we got pH problem at the moment. We're putting so much tap water in because I think we're leaking. I just found a leak in between this tank here, this sump tank, and this sump tank here. It's leaking quite a bit, so we're having to put a lot of tap water in. Um, plants like a pH between 5 and 7 and so we're suffering a bit here I think because I don't think the plants are really able to take up the nitrogen so you can see there's a bit of yellowing going on um, so the water ideal water needs to be about 6.8 the pH but because it's coming out the tap we're on about 7.8 so it's a bit too high for our plants to take it in I mean the fish are okay they take between 6.5 and eight and the worms that are part of the biofilter and the bacteria they like to be between about five and seven I think it is. Am I right in saying that? No, actually six to eight. So yeah. Harmonious level is about six point eight, but I think we're well over that at the moment. And also we're not getting much growth in our fish because the water, it's quite cold today, is actually at 16.4 and we could be up to 24, 25 ideally and then the fish are going to be eating and growing properly. Bless their little cotton socks, there you are, say hello guys. So yeah, it's a bit of a problem at the moment, but we'll sort it out by fixing the leak and then letting the water sort itself out. The nitrification process actually lowers the pH in water so the longer you have the more water in there the lower the pH will be to a certain level um, so we've just taken out a lot of the, the iller looking plants if you were and we've just planted a load of lamb's lettuce here as you can see in this NFT system it's all a bit of an experiment but as you can see the watercress is looking lush and grows rapidly so that's about it really, just wanted to say about the pH levels, um, yeah, speak to you soon.